Sleep Token have blessed us with a new song, The Love You Want. This song has taken over for me as like, I think the best song of the year so far. It feels Ooh. like every fibre of this song is so delicately woven and built so perfectly. And it just grows and like swells and then dissipates so nicely. Just perfect songwriting, I think. What did you guys, do you guys think the same? For me, it wasn't the instant hit like Alkaline was, but I feel like the more you listen to it, the more you notice things, and the more you notice how well-crafted and sort of every layer is sewn in perfectly. It seems so precise. Yeah, like everything there is planned to go like that exact millisecond. But I felt that like instantly. I just had like on the first listen just goosebumps. Oh, it didn't take me long, it was like second listen for me. Um, another thing that stands out is the lyrics as well. I feel like with Alkaline, it takes quite a common songwriting theme of love or partnership, but delivers it in ways that are so unique and worded so perfectly. There's one bit in the second verse. Um, Seems your heart is locked up and I still get the combination wrong, or are you simply waiting to save your love for someone I am not? I feel like there's so much delivered in those lines that other artists can't even say in a whole song. Uh, just It goes to show how carefully chosen and thought over this all is and how well it's delivered yeah I, I agree with you on the lyrics there I'd, I'd really love that lock and key metaphor and I think yeah. it goes on to to say something like two minutes something about too many swallowed keys yeah it'll leave you bleed internally that was it yeah. that's, just, that's such a cool little lyric I think even in addition to that the instrumentals incredible I love the use of the piano and then the, as the drums come in with the ride cymbal taking like a really prominent kind of section uh, it makes it much more interesting. You don't hear that as much anymore. And then there's just really nice placements of the snare notes and accents coming through at different times. The China symbol, when it cuts through on the final double chorus, just takes it to another level and just moves up. And in a really, really big chorus anyway, that really does peak in the song. I think we've got to talk about the music video as well. Oh, for sure. It's, it's captivating, isn't it? I, I love the Sleep Token cinematic universe at the moment. You feel like you get really pulled into their world and it's just so engaging, any kind of music video they put on. I think it works really well in contrast to the Alkaline video as well because in Alkaline, Vessel is like this powerful, something to be feared. Whereas in this, it's almost like it's his love is like his downfall and it's what makes him weak. And I think that storytelling running alongside what's being said in the song just like amplifies everything yeah, that's the, going on. To the storytelling is the main point in the video, I think. With like, at the start, when, when you see all those white ribbons, you're thinking, well, what are all those about? Mm. And then at the end, you notice he wakes up and ties another ribbon around. And then you think, oh, well, he's obviously yeah. gone through this time and time again. Like he's, like he's in a, in a cycle timeline. Of, yeah. like, he's in a cycle of hurting himself like over and over again, I guess, yeah. for love. To go back to what you said as well, they've done it again. Like, their second verses, the way that they introduce the second verse is insane. Cause the that little, that little had, piano yeah. drop. It's so cool. Yeah, when the piano and drums kick in, it's just, it's the same feeling that I get when the, the chemistry line comes in in Alkaline, where it just, like, everything, it, like, wraps me up all at once, like, musically. And also, I want to appreciate his vocals, because the, the layers and the harmonies, especially in, like, the final choruses, just incredible. Faultless, really. Going back into the instrumentation as well, it would have been really hard, uh, really easy, rather, to ruin it with a breakdown at the end. Because it's such a delicate song, and then obviously the way Sleep Token like to build everything into a big crescendo at the end, it would have been so easy to just have a big breakdown and kind of ruin the sentiment of the song. But the breakdown's kind of just right. Mm. It's not. It's not really heavy. It just sort of it's just sort of complements like everything. Emotion, that's going it's like on. an emotional breakdown rather yeah. than just heavy for the sake of heaviness. If that makes sense. Not so, like so, an... <laughs> sonically and literally. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> I'm extremely excited with this album being released only next month now for us. Um, I think and I hope it's going to blow the music industry away with how good it's going to be and that they get the recognition. And yeah, I just can't wait for that release. I reckon it's going to be a contender for album of the year. Definitely. Yeah. But what did you think of this new song? Did you enjoy it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and hit subscribe so you never miss out on more videos.